I just got an email and I'm about to go online and purchase as many patterns as I can, probably around 20 because I think they're like, from what I can tell, 90% off and I'm going to share that with you. So keep watching. Hi sewing friends, my name is Karina from liftingpinsandneedles.com. I hope you're all doing well, I hope you're safe, I hope you're healthy, I hope um, that the place where you are right now is taking the best measures possible to guarantee your safety. Um, nothing's changed here. Uh, thank God there are no cases locally of this epidemic right now in my area, but you know, that could change and we are just staying home and doing what we can. If you're wondering, these are fake totally fake orchids. Um, I have real ones at home on the trees. They are beautiful and they survive for months without me doing anything for them. If I bought real orchids to have in the house, I would kill them because I have no clue how to look after them. But these are fake but and they're still pretty and I was able to get some and enjoy some for many, many more years to come because they're fake. I've been keeping busy. Yesterday I was super busy fitting a new pair of jeans that I'm sewing, um, ones I haven't sewn before. So I did a muslin and then corrected a few things to adjust to my body. So that's kept me busy. And as I'm getting ready to start my day, as soon as I wake up, of course, I look at some emails. I think you all do that. And I just got an email from a cause. About a month ago, I joined their club. It's like you get 20% off if you purchase and I have purchased a few PDF patterns there from McCall's and Badrick. So I got an email that said that out of print patterns were $149. But you know, there was no mention in the email about PDF format. I decided to have a look and actually they are on sale. So Badrick and McCaws are the ones I'm looking at. There's also Vogue at $4.99, I believe. But those are patterns that are like paper patterns, you know, that you can access um, through the mail. As I'm not using the mail at this moment, or ever maybe, I'm just sticking to McCaws and Badrick. Now I was gonna get ready to edit another video I have for the channel when I got interrupted by the sale. So I'm gonna go and head over there right now. I've got my computer right there and I'm gonna switch to screen record and show you all the patterns I've got in my cart. I haven't bought them yet, but I'm about to and I'm gonna share that with you. They have changed the website. It looks totally different from what I saw a couple of months ago. And I have just seen, and the ones that are in a PDF format are also on sale at $149. And well, this is the website, macaw.com. And on the top here, you can click on Badrick, Quick Sew, Macaws, and Vogue patterns. And the only ones that have PDF patterns are Macaws and Badrick. Okay, if you scroll down to the bottom and you go to out of print sewing patterns and you click there, you will find dresses, misses, accessories, aprons, anyway. I've gone ahead and gone through everything, the misses, the plus, everything. I've just gone and seen it all and I have a lot of stuff on my cart and I've done the same here with Barrick out of print sewing patterns and you'll see the same thing, misses, plus sizes, and you know, you click. I didn't see swimwear, oh, I missed that one. And well, I've got a lot of things in my shopping bag, 21 items. I went a little bit crazy, but heck, I've never seen PDF patterns at this price, so I'm gonna go for it. Um, yeah, not interested in the swimwear. <laughs> So I've got my shopping cart here. I haven't bought anything yet, but I want to show you the ones that I have looked at. Um, Badrix 6643 Digital, and it's got lots of pieces here, lots of items, and I like it when patterns have so many things. So this is how the pattern cover looks like. The most interesting piece here for me is the top. 
So if you look at liner, the top and the dress are really attractive to me. Um, there's a zipper on the back and then there's some sort of tie that comes and ties at the front. And well, I guess that's just a shorter version of the dress. I really like that. Um, the pants, the skirts, yeah, they're just basic. And this thing is pretty basic too. And the fabrics there that it mentions, I suppose, for the dresses are the crepes, chanton, chalice, cotton blends, I suppose. I would make a style like this in something drapey. I don't like how that pops out of her body like that. I think this looks like a more structured fabric. Um, my approach would be the drapey style. That's the front of the dress. I love this. I really love that tie. This neckline is a little high. I would just drop it and make it scoop down a little bit lower. I really like it so it's in the cut. The next one that is there in the cart is McCall's 7578 Digital. You know, you can see his standard pattern in PDF. So if you were in the States and wanted to get shipping, you could click on the standard pattern and then you choose your size there. So I've chosen the 8 to 16 and this is like an active wear type dress. I really like it. I like that princess seam there. I like that halter style neckline and well it just gives you a bunch of pictures. I don't think I'd wear a crop top like that but I do think this dress is really cool. There's also some leggings that is interesting and of course always the lineup for me is what I tend to look at the most. Got some, uh, quite a lot of active wear actually. I just found it really interesting and for the price really. This is McCall 7663. And I've actually been looking at this one for a long time. That little jacket with a hood that seems to be made in a woven. The leggings look cool, that wide shaped waistband, the side panels. I really think the crossover top here with a knot is really cute. I really like this. Um, lots of pieces here. I think they're all cute. I like them all so into the cut it went. I think I got this one for the asymmetric lines here. I really like that. How it goes off like that. I like the top a lot actually. There is a little hood there. Look I'm not that interested in the leggings in these patterns because I already have leggings that fit me and I don't really want to go through the process of fitting other pairs of leggings when active wear fabric is really hard to find in the quality that I like. So these active wear patterns, I mainly got them for the tops. These types of lines always get me and they're the types of lines I create on clothing myself by color blocking. And if it's already on a pattern, it's even easier. You don't have to add seam allowance and do all those things that I like. Four, seven, two, six, one. And you know, there's leggings here that I just look at and sort of block from my mind this. I like these lines here. Raglan sleeves with princess seams here, I don't know, but I just think they're really cool. I would totally not sew that front pocket there, the kangaroo pocket adds bulk there in the stomach and no, I don't ever think it's a style I would add on to a, a top. But I don't want bulk in my midsection there. And you can do it without the hood, which is even better. I have to remind you I'm getting all of these because they were available in PDF format. There's a ton of other patterns that are also at 149 that I loved, but they don't come in PDF format. So I can't like get them. M7100. I'd actually seen that one on the catalog for ages and always thought, oh, you know, that's really cute. I love this detail here where you have main fabric and then then comes the ribbing. It's a little bit tricky to do. It's not an easy, easy technique, but totally doable. Then you can see the liner. You know, you could choose and do contrasting colors there, uh, fabrics like they've done there. This next jacket, although they classed it as active wear, I just think it's so elegant. Um, and it's, it seems like it's made out of something that's not active wear. I would totally never do those little ruffles there. Those little ruffles, um, I believe, are optional. I wouldn't do them. Um, I wouldn't do the lace here either. I would use something else to contrast or I would just skip this all together. And I'm assuming that is just an option, um, one of the views available. Whenever there's yokes like this and princess seams that come from the shoulder, um, the fit is always so much better. Uh, I like a pattern that has a lot of pattern pieces. I just think the fit's always going to be good. Yeah, these leggings with an elastic on the top, no. I don't think I'd ever make leggings like that. They just cut into you and they don't fit really well. 
I also assume these leggings don't have a gusset in here but as I said before I'm getting these active wear patterns because of the tops mainly the jackets and I really like this curved hem there the ruffle there and the lace I think is no not a thing I'm really drawn to McCall's 6073 it's got a lot of lengths now I'm always looking at the short lengths um, I'm not attracted to long maxi lengths because I don't think they suit me I think they make my hips look wider they take up yards and yards and yards of fabric it would hurt my soul to spend so much fabric on one item of clothing so this is really nice I like that it's gonna highlight the smallest of my body you know I'm a bit short-waisted and I think it would be a really flattering style to have this waistband that is shaped there you know but I really like that print they have there here you can see the line art this is made for jersey fabrics with stretch so I think it would be a really comfortable one to wear McCall's 7652 it's a dress that, I mean you know I like these straight type dresses with no volume on the skirt and the fact that it has these design lines here on the side I think are really really flattering the neckline is like a soft V and I really like that. You can tell the difference there. Here with a print you can't see all the details and that's where I think it's really silly. Even if I didn't want to have contrasting solid colors, I could do a print here and just put a contrasting solid on the side to highlight the details of the dress. I think I would do that. Choose a print that has a dark background color and put that same dark background color in a solid here on the sides I think that is how I would like to make this one and it has a zipper on the back a center seam I would not do that if I'm working with stretch fabric because it says here moderate stretch knits ponty knit cotton knit interlock any type of knit is going to fit over my head and I am not going to do a zipper on some type of structured knit I just don't think it's necessary then I have one that I really thought really do I really want this one I think it's super cute the model there is extremely young and the off shoulder thing on one side like there's no arm or shoulder here I think it's hard to wear for me myself but then I got to thinking you know this doesn't have to be a dress like this it could be an active wear top and I could use this um, style that doesn't have the sleeve there or the one with the short sleeve like they show there and just make it a top and wear it like an active wear bra underneath and that doesn't matter if it shows on one side if it's a solid I don't know I think this pattern has potential not necessarily for a dress like this because I could not wear a strapless bra like that and I wouldn't want to be showing the, the straps of my regular bras because, you know, it looks to be very simple and very easy to make. So that's made it into the bag after some thinking. Then this one, I mainly got it for the top as well. M7634. I'm not a fan of these wide leg type sweatpants. I think that they wouldn't suit me at all. I'd rather more a slim look on the bottom. Not, not necessarily skin tight like leggings, but more of a straight cut for me. So I'm not even looking at the pants, I'm just looking at the, this, I think is really cute. And they also have like a, um, like a sweater dress with cold shoulder, which I think is a bit silly. Because why would you be so snugly warm with freezing shoulders there? Um, but that is just an option because you can have a normal sleeve. What is this? Does it come with shorts? Well, that's an interesting option. I could definitely do these to lounge around the house in. I have grommets now. A friend sent me some grommets, so I have that option available. And next one is McCaw's 7603. And this one has a lot of types of tops and they all have really cute stuff. And I thought this was a dress, but then when they style it, you know, in a little while they have other pictures I, it's like a like a lay on top of shorts <laughs> but that top is extremely cute um this one has little patch pockets there that i will do if i'm working on a solid so that they could be seen otherwise on a print i wouldn't bother um here's like a print version i think it's really silly to put pockets there because they won't be seen and i like the curved hem right there 
I don't like plaid. I would never make a shirt in a plaid. So I'm not even looking at that. But the dress I think is really cool. I'm not a maxi fan, but look at this curved type hem. I think it would show the legs on the side and I like that. And this is where it surprised me. I thought it was just a, <laughs> just a dress, but look how she styles it here with shorts. I think that is really cool and a style I would definitely consider making in chiffon as just a light layer on the top. I think that is really cool. There's so many options here that it's definitely a pattern I thought was worth getting, especially at 149. I had been looking at this one before and it's Macaw 7692. Now I know these types of details on pants are to not everyone's taste, but I think it could be a really fun detail and I think I think it's sort of my style too, although I've never made anything like that before. I think it's just just out there and different and I appreciate that. So the pants, yeah, that's a, a thumbs up from me. And the top I think is awesome. You know, I like asymmetry. Look, it's got one sleeveless armhole there. And then on the other side, it's totally different with this thing that drapes. Now I would totally make this in something she in my chiffon. I have got so much chiffon and I don't think I'd wear a, a style like this where it's both of the items uh, together. I think I would totally make these and wear them separately. I think there's enough going on on the bottom there to have a top that also has something going on on the top. Yeah, if I'm going to make something so different and impactful like this, I would probably wear the top with something simple down there and vice versa with the pants. Have a really, really simple top with these types of pants. Look at that. That is so cool. I think it's so cool. I think this is going to be a really fabric hungry project. So I'm going to have to prepare for that and really see how much I need. <laughs> the next one might also be a bit strange for some of you because it's asymmetrical, seam detail top and pants. Look, I'm not looking at the pants here at all. Here, here you can't really see the details that much. In this one you can in the art here because you can see the seams right there and I can see myself wearing a style like this for sure. Now other than wearing it with really skinny tight pants, I would also wear this with a really fitted pencil skirt. I think would be the option that I would be most drawn to because I'm more of a skirt person. All these tops have a lot of yardage um, but I think one and seven eighths of a yard is okay, like I can deal with that mentally. To get a really nice top like this. I could also use scraps and do different colors for each of these pieces and come up with something really crazy. The next one is McCall's 7483 and this is a short sleeve top and a pleated wide leg pant. They're very basic type designs. I like the pants. Um, they've got pleats. You know what? I might actually remove this one from my cart looking at it again, although I've already been through them a thousand times. I have a pattern like this. I have patterns exactly like this and I have a pattern that is even better than this that doesn't have pleats. I just noticed the pleats right now. You know the Samara pants from Itch to Stitch? They have a really flat front there with no pleats and a huge leg and they fit me amazing and they don't have pleats and I've never been a fan of pleats. So let's just take that one off of you. Sure you want to delete? Yes, I want to delete. You're getting to see like the fourth time I'm going through them. <laughs> McCall 7411 is the next one there. And these are just a bunch of scoop neck tank tops with overlay options. I think it's a cute type top that I could totally do myself with a tank top and just, you know, do two layers. But the fact that they've already done it for you and you don't have to be messing around with the lengths, I think is okay. There are side bust darts there that I really appreciate. You can see there. And you know, I lower them of course to make the fit a bit better. There might be some back shaping on the back because there is a center back seam, unless they just did that to have that keyhole. You know, it's something that you would have to see when you actually have the pattern. M7248 over top and I like look you can't see the details with the print here and on these type line uh, thingies uh, you can see other views that they have this type um, of overlapped V neckline there that is narrow and there's a pleat an offset pleat there and then that style and then you can see gathers here I think this would be a really cute style in something really drapey I would not make long sleeves like that I don't think I would stick with a 
short sleeves or even make it sleeveless or sleeveless is not part of it you know at all look this neckline here looks so similar to the vivace neckline from love notions the vivace that overlap with the offset pleat looks very similar and I've already got the construction down for that so I think I would go with this version first. This is a jumpsuit. Oh, it says petite. No, I did not notice it said petite. Where does it say? Look, petite, this is not going to fit me. <laughs> so I believe McCall's has a petite range for women that are shorter than five foot. Four, I think. Yeah, I would have to do tremendous adjustments to get this to fit me because I already need to do length adjustments to the regular patterns that are drafted for five foot six, I believe. Really a shame because I really like this. The jumpsuit has something that crosses over to the front and that neckline there and those princess seams. Oh, it's just so cute. Oh well, that's never gonna fit me so I might as well remove it. I'm so glad I'm going over these with you before I purchase. I got a men's one, hooray, because there's so few men's things. So in this one, there's lots of things in this pattern. There's this jacket for wovens with a hood and a zip. There's these shorts and these tights. Look, I don't know what sort of man wears tights. I guess athletes. At least the men in my life do not wear tights like this. I basically got this pattern for the jacket and for the shorts. But these really like tight leggings for men. Um, yeah. <laughs> these are draped vests and jackets designed for jerseys. Um, the way they are, you can see they uh, for some of them you can see the wrong side of the fabric. So you have to have a jersey that you like the wrong side of or that is the same color. I would not do a, a style like this with the, the wrong being like a light color and then the print being on the outside. I think that doesn't look very nice. This one I think is awesome and they do have a picture here. It looks to be made in something more structured and just this line here going down I think is super flattering. I think this style is amazing and I really like that. I like all of them actually. They're just really cool. Batterick 6288 back pleat shirts, it says here. It's got collar stands and collars, and it's oh, this yoke with the pleats on the one side. I think it's really, really cool. Original, you don't really see people wearing details like that, and I appreciate that on garments. Yeah, you have a button placket there that I suppose is shaped to form that V, I think it's really flattering because it's separate pattern pieces, it's gonna be really stable. And they have a sleeveless version with a longer back with slits there, I think that is totally my style. Anyway, there's so many options here for different styles of yokes and details on the back. On the liner, it's more evident. Look, they show pleats all, all across the back there. But on the photo, it didn't have that. I just see it on one side, I'm confused. Well, it's something I would see when I'm assembling the pattern. If it was a full pleated back, I wouldn't mind. I just liked it more if it was pleated on one side and it's always something I could adjust, I suppose. So my cart is full. I have a grand total of 19 items and I'm going to pay a whopping $28. I cannot believe it because this is ridiculous. 149 per pattern and they are pdf i am going to have them immediately actually the prices because i belong to the club were not 149 they were 119 so all these patterns were $1.19 and that is yeah it's insane i know they're out of print but i don't care i like the styles i like the patterns i will like them and i had been actually looking at them for a long time so I'm really happy to have them and I hope you go online before the end of today because I think the sale is until today, the 23rd, and you would like to get some out of print patterns for way, way less, like 90% off, you know, in comparison to the price that I would pay for a normal priced PDF pattern. I think this was a great, great opportunity. So yeah. This was a different video, I don't do these types. It was a spur of the moment thing. I thought, you know, if I'm gonna um, do this, you know, I might as well share. 
The next video you see is one that's been highly requested to me through lots of avenues, emails, messages, and it'll be really, really practical, something that's gonna make a huge difference your sewing. So that is the one I'm preparing to appear on the channel next. So see you then, bye. Ooh.